Today is Thursday. Tonight is meant to be the first clearest night for quite some time, what feels like a very long time actually. And even though it gets clear by about nine o'clock and there's a chance of rain before then, I thought I'd best clear uh, set up. And I'm also gonna show you the new camera and telescope I've been trying to review. The Sharp Star 61 EDPH2 is a tripler apochromatic refracting telescope that is f5.5 335 millimeter focal length without the reducer. But I actually have the 0.8 reducer on here. Bring it down to through, bring it down to 275 millimeters f4.5. So it's pretty fast, pretty wide. The camera, however, has got a bit of a small chip in it. So even with such a wide telescope, my field of view is relatively narrow for the instrument. But still pretty good. What we have here is a camera that's kind of familiar to me as I've used the um, Altair version, but this is the Zwo ASI 183 mono camera. It's a cooled monochrome dedicated astronomy camera. And that right there in the off-axis guider is another 120mm, ASI 120mm guide camera. And we have a seven position filter wheel here full of Optolong SHO LRGB filters. So full complement of filters. And it's all sent to me from First Light Optics for review. So I've been thinking about what to shoot tonight and I really want to do the Orion Nebula. I've not actually been able to do the Orion Nebula since a while ago. Um, but even at this house, I have no view of it on the south. I've got like maybe 20 minutes between the chimney and the top of the house. And that's not long enough, really. So I might carry on, on, I might carry on my tadpole and spider nebula image. I shared already a version of it, but there's just very little data there. So I might actually carry on with that. Uh, I think that's basically good until about 2 a.m. So I get several hours on it tonight if, 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 you, if it stays clear. Either way, the moon is out. There is like a, I think it's a first quarter moon, a uh, bit of moon glow coming from that. But I'm kind of hoping that the hydrogen alpha filter and the sulfur two filter will just cut through that. It's more so the oxygen filter. Oxygen is not very good at blocking moonlight. However, I'm in Auriga and the moon is over in Triangulum Andromeda area. So hopefully I'm far enough away to be able to get away with it. We'll find out later. The issue is that there was an autofocuser on here, a Zwo EAF, but I ended up having a problem with it and I've had to send it back. But luckily, it turns out I have this old Batnov mask that was printed for me, that was actually used with my old Skywatcher 72ED. And it fits perfectly on the, on the Sharpstar 61. So I do have a Batnov mask and really now I just gotta wait for it to get dark and hopefully clear. And these clouds do not look like they're gonna let up anytime soon. But again, it was meant to be until 9, 9 p.m. it begins to clear up. Either way, the scope is outside with the camera and all the filters and everything can at least acclimate. So when I do start imaging, everything's at the right temperature. Gonna chuck it into the shed and wait for it to go dark now, I guess. Fingers crossed that it stays clear. Oh, time to focus, the first time of which I'm sure is going to be many. Okay, so in the Air Pro, now I'm going to go to focus again, I guess. Looks good, maybe in a touch. Oh, that's brilliant, the only problem is that was a luminance filter. <laughs> I want uh, hydrogen. That looks fine, so time to actually get on with my target and guiding and shooting and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to take a five minute test frame. Guiding is pretty choppy, but it's just settling and I am walking. I am walking around it quite firmly, but you can see it's settling down now. It's nice to not really have to bother too much about guiding, so yeah. What are those people doing? Jeez. Yeah, so guiding settling down now, I'm taking the auto stretch off the histogram just so we can have that pause together at that moment when we check the sub that's come through. So yeah, it's getting a bit cold out here. So that is the shot and let's put the auto stretch on. Pow! Yeah! Kind of what I'm after, more so... 
Yeah, this needs to, this the tadpoles are too high, so if that's the center, I need to press and hold there. That down and across a bit, so yeah, try and try and go there. The rotation is still off a bit, but really, I'm going to just call it that. I don't want to see here fettle in too much. I really need to put like a rotation marker on the tube. I'm going to go to auto run and make a plan. I want to do one hour and then I'll change filter to 12 light frames at five minutes each, bin one. And then we hit go. And that's it. Auto run is going. And even though I complained about the really bad range on this Wi-Fi module, all the ASI, all the app is doing is programming the Air Pro, so I could just walk away now. But I leave this next to it anyway, so I can keep coming out and checking it. We are guiding, yeah. See how much guidance flattened out. Look at that. Look how good that's getting with an off-axis guider. So I think I might use OAGs more in the future. But yeah, I'll be back in an hour, I guess. I'll set a timer on my phone and come out in an hour's time and change filter and refocus.